Hello! Mibison says hello to y'all. Welcome to another Weekend Warriors. V-Skill uh, Parade. V-Skill Parade is what we're doing. <laughs> That's the name of the series. Welcome back. Still looking at all these characters and all their V-Skills. We only got this last row to go through, man. Last row. I think, Greg, at this point, you've definitely got a good idea of like the kind of shit that this stuff is bringing to the game. Maybe even a better idea of like how this shit legitimately fundamentally changes how these characters play, you know? Yeah, definitely. One Some of, the, of it is more yeah. obvious. You want a really obvious one? Yeah. <sighs> Fucking Bison, man. I hate fighting against Bison. He's such a degenerate asshole, but I'm glad he's in the game. <laughs> Here's another one that totally fucking all right so bison's the guy that's like it's plus button plus button plus button it's my turn my turn my turn right? okay all right now he doesn't even have like normally this motherfucker that's why you hate playing against him <sighs> there's myriad reasons but like he has terrible walk speed right okay like, it takes a while to get him but he's yeah. got like that really good dash sure that dash is sure. like easy to react to and maybe even hit him out of right fuck it he doesn't even have to play footsies anymore because he has that yeah it is a cross-up you have to block that the Wait, other way. Wait, is that the V-Skill 2? That's V-Skill 2. Wow. You have to block that the other way. As you can see, like, I think you can combo out of it, which is ridiculous. And... Uh, uh, uh. They've gone too far. Plus one on block. Wow. So from full screen away, he's like, eh, it's my turn. They've gone too far. It's my turn. That wow. being said, just like his dash, you can... I've, I've already started to adapt to it. You can see it coming. You can react to it and like hit him out of it for a nice fat counter hit, which is nice. Yeah. But then again, like they went and gave this motherfucker a way to completely circumvent footsies and it's fucked up. Uh, and I think it's definitely going to be the go to V skill for a lot of people compared to his first V skill. First V skill is not bad. It's uh, it has no hitbox. All it does is absorb a projectile. And then he can like send it back out as a more powered up projectile. Okay. It's nice. Like it allows him to like get through his owners and shit. Okay. But you saw the second V skill, man. It's I'm publicly calling for nerf. <laughs> You've never even played against it. You're like, it's too powerful. I think that, yeah. Let me join the chorus of voices that are publicly right. calling for Capcom to nerf his second V skill. It's too powerful. It's, He's it's already not, annoying. <laughs> it's the, the smart people are just doing it every now and then. Cause if you're eagle eyed, you can see it kind of like doll seems teleport. Like, you see it, and then you go, okay, I can react to that, right? Yeah. Oh, he loves chains, this guy. Mm. Uh, Cute hat. It's but been a long a time. But if bison will, like, use it sparingly, and you'll forget about it. And all of a sudden, at, at worst, at worst, it's his turn. That's at worst, it's his turn. But whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, just another thing you have to get used to, you know? I guess. We're just accepting it. Fine. <laughs> This Good dude, Birdie, for Birdie. It's been I a long Birdie, time since I've seen him. Really? Yeah. I think Birdie had one of the best V skills in the game. I think it may have been like top three. So the thing they gave to him for V skill too, I was like, what are they going to give him? You know? And it's like similar. Like it had, the first V skill has so much utility. This one also had to have utility. So first off, he chews a piece of gum. He put, puts a piece of gum in his mouth. That just gives him a little bit of V meter, right? That's his first or his second? This is his second. So he like chomps on a piece of gum and gives him a little free V meter. You can't see it right now because we're in training mode, right? Okay. If you hold it, he blows a bubble. Okay. So that bubble has no hitbox. Okay. Oh, come he, on. But if you press a button, he'll blow the bubble or or again. <laughs> what is happening? And now it has a hitbox. Okay. Yeah. So, so if you hold the V skill, you'll have that. Okay. So, so it has no hitbox while you're blowing the bubble up. Right. But once you release it, it does. So there's options you have. While he does this, he really can't do anything. So they were like, he, his first V skill is really good. So the second one has no, to be. No, no, you're, 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 you're fucked up. Listen, <laughs> if you press kick while this shit happens, it blows up the bubble, right? Making okay. it more big and just a huge hitbox, right? Yeah. But if you press punch, it releases it. And okay. like the different punch button that you press will like release it at different angles okay so the light punch will make it explode immediately and heavy punch will like send it out far and then the medium punch will send it right there uh-huh this is kind of a cool thing man because like once again slow projectiles right you can just follow them in uh-huh and if it gets huge Flo it's floating erratically you could like that's a huge hitbox you know what i mean yeah so, okay. for example, you can, like, let's All say right. you blow this up once, and then you send this out, and then while he's getting ready to block that, oh, my lord, how do you, 
How do you do the... That is so strange that it took me that long to do that command grab. I'm really out of shape with this game, apparently. You can, like, do that and go for the command grab before the bubble even gets there. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's pretty fucking useful, man. It's pretty useful for, like, setups, right? It's like another character on screen, right? Yeah. Compared okay. to his V-Skill 1. I'm convinced. Like, I, I, I... This is still an incredible V-Skill, because you can scarf the donut for V-Meter, and then you have the, uh... The can, which is another, like, rolling, like, slow projectile. Uh-huh. Or... Kind of like Ibuki's cow traps, like people will slip on that. Uh -huh, right? uh -huh. A lot of utility. Both of, both of this dude's V skills have so much utility. Okay. Uh, that I think it's down to preference. And I think, I think honestly, what it'll come down to is, I think V skill one is probably better at keeping people out with that banana uh -huh. and like setups. Uh -huh. That V skill two is probably a little bit better for allowing Birdie to get in. Yeah. You feel me? Yes. I forgot how much I loved this color on Dalsy. I saw this, I was like, ooh. Wow, he looks great. That black and gold. Looks you know? incredible, yeah. Uh, what we've got with Dalsy is another install V skill. It powers up one of his moves. Any guesses on what that move will be? Okay. No, am I guessing? Yeah, do you have a guess on which um, move is powered up? Take a guess. Quickly. Is it his projectile? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, so here's his yoga fire. Remember in Street Fighter V, it goes up at an angle. Okay. There's the medium one, and the heavy one goes the furthest angle, right? There's V skill two. It's activated now. This is what happens. Boom. It's a little bit of a bounce there. Oh. Right? Okay. <laughs> so let's see if I can hit him up close. Oh, is he still blocking? Take him off block real quick. <gasps> oh, bless you, man. I got one more. Sorry. Yeah, do it. Do it. Oh, my God, guys. Wow, he was right. There was another one coming. Wow. wow. Do you want to? Do you need a tissue? No, I'm good. Okay. It, was, it was dry. Uh, so that's two hits now, as you can see. You know, more damage, more hit stun. It's a better projectile, and that bounce obviously makes a whole lot of difference. Like he's more of a hardcore zoner now, right? And things actually get kind of nutty. Like if you throw this shit over the opponent, that shit will come back and bounce off. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Right? Pretty cool. Heat seeking. Uh, also, it'll power up his uh, EX. His EXs go straight, but now it's three hits instead of two, and you know it does more shit. So, and I think it's even slower now. Oh no, it appears to be the same. So yeah, and Dal seems that guy though. The way he's playing, you you'll probably have time to set up that V skill kind of a lot of the time because you're so far away. Cool. I can see that being useful. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Uh, compared to V skill one, V skill one is also really fucking good for this guy. This guy. It puts him in the. It gives him so much mobility, mm. right? And you can do any any aerial normal out of that. Did he not already have that before the? Yeah, this is V skill one. Yeah, but I mean, was it, before V skill one was introduced? Did he didn't didn't he already have the, a version of this move? No. What do you mean, like in previous games? You the, mean? Uh, I suppose, yeah. Uh, no. Okay. He didn't have a float. He had like you know teleports. But oh, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. As far as uh this yoga float. This shit is godlike just because of like the mobility it gives him. Mm. It's 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 fucking you know what it gives him is the ability to like react. Because if I don't know what my opponent's gonna do, sometimes I'll just throw this out and like do this and see what they do. So if they jump, I can just do this. If they stay on the ground, I can do this one. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh cool. it's incre oh yeah, this shit too. It's incredibly useful. So I think one is better for hardcore zoning, uh and like, you know, trying to keep people out. This is good for keeping people out too. I think this one's just more reactionary. The other one requires more uh, investment. Mm. V skill two is an investment, and you get some pretty good payoff for the zoning. That one right there, though, that's you can do that whenever and just react to your opponent. It's kind of nice. Cool. I think they're both pretty fucking good, man. Like them. Yeah, I do too. I really want to see somebody go to town with that V skill two with his though. Like it's brand new. I want to like. I don't want to do it. I want to see somebody fucking do it. I want to see somebody do some cool Dalsim shit. Nice. Oh, here's your boy Fong. Have you never seen Fong before? Nope. You've, this is your first time seeing this character. Or I saw him and tried to forget him. <laughs> Why? Does he scare you like everybody else that you don't recognize? His bone structure is, is not usual. He's very, he's very. I mean, uh, but you, you looked geef right in the face. And you were like, yep, that's a man. Like, that I mean, I said too. no such thing about that person, <gasps> that thing. Sorry, guys. This time I was blowing my nose. This guy has a very Roger Rabbity feel to oh, me. Oh, you mean Judge Doom? Yeah, he is Judge Doomy. So this guy got a. You got one of those. It's, uh -huh. a, it's a parry. Let's uh -huh. see what it does. Uh huh. Ooh, too far away. All right, let's push him to the corner. Let's get him in there. 
I think I'm early. That's it. Yeah, that's his parry. Cool. And as you hear, let me back up. Wow. So nice. watch. So that poisons the opponent. Like a lot of Fong's moves, they're slowly losing health. Uh, it's kind of nice, and then it's a nice defensive option for him. He doesn't act like a lot of defensive characters in this game. They don't have anything like get people off of them. It probably starts up pretty quickly. But yeah, and it puts him on poison, and I think it like knocks them away a lot. Let me see. Cool. Let's see how far. Yeah, you know, it's a good distance, right? Cool. It's a nice defensive technique, as opposed to the less conventional defensive technique of his first V skill, which is the slow moving projectile. You kind of can't walk behind because all it does, there's no hit stun. All it does is poison the opponent. So it's I not see. an insurance policy. I see. But it does force people to come to you. Like it puts the onus on them. Got right? it. Okay. Uh, pretty simple first V skill. Uh, pretty simple second V skill. Um, I can see some Fong's using because honestly, like even though Fong, like he was kind of built to be his owner, most people use him very effectively as a rushdown character. Uh -huh. I can maybe see them throwing that into their kit as a way to like get people off of them in a pinch, maybe. But also maybe to like fish for shit. Yeah, you know, you never know. Cool. Oh man, yeah, this guy's a beast. You want to talk about the best looking Balrog they've ever had? It's this this guy. turquoise guy. Imagine if we made the Balrog movie when this costume were up. Wow. I would have written this costume into his like character <laughs> art. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would have. Uh huh. I would have I would have made this like post post breakdown of Shadowloo. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. me? Sure. Uh <clears throat> Aquamarine. Yes. When you see that, his next regular dash straight punch is Supa. Okay. It's an install. Okay. So as you can see, it's three hits. You remember the fucking dash punch, right? It's like sure. one hit. Uh, and now it's three hits. Not only that, there's like a little bit of juggle time on it, so you can get like an EX afterwards. Let's see. Cool. Sorry, I accidentally started with EX, but let me show you a regular. So you can do that. Cool. Uh, yeah, that should. It's very self-explanatory, and it's very good because let's see. That's minus four, right? Mm -hmm. You space it right, like a good Balrog should. They're not going to touch you. <laughs> like a good Balrog should. But if you do this one plus two. You want to know something else fucked up? What's up? Watch this. I'm going to see if you can see if anything's wrong with this picture. Watch this. You see something wrong with that picture? Uh, Watch you... This. What do you think of that? Uh, it looks extremely powerful, but you didn't break his guard. Nah, look again. So, this is a charge move, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oop, one more time. This is a charge move. Uh -huh. yet, there it is. You see that? No. I'm doing it after walking forward. It should be impossible. Oh, it's charging. I see. Okay, okay. So when you have this, you don't have to charge this move. It's just back forward, mm. which is fucked up because it's plus two. So you can be playing the footsie game. You can be pressing forward, back. You can do whatever you want to do. All of a sudden, that's out. It's my turn. Mm. And then Bice, uh, Balrog's in your face. Mm. It's an incredible V-Skill. Cool. It's incredible. Uh, and this first one is also really good. Uh, this is the one where you can do this, and he like has this quick attack out of it or, or the overhead. This is only overhead. Mm. And this is the one where you can uh, cancel into that roll uh -huh. into other stuff. Like you can like cancel all your dash punch stuff early. Mm. Oh, before cool. They hit. Nice. So you lose a little mix up potential. If you choose, like the first one gives you more mix up potential. The third one or the second one gives you more pressure. Got it. Uh, and like that might be hard to choose between men. Cause like I love that overhead using when I you play Balrog. Does it do? He was blocking the whole time. Does it do a fair bit of damage? If the you, overhead? No, the second V skill. Oh, it, I mean, it does fine damage. Oh, okay. But I mean, it's the not fucked like, up part about it isn't that the move itself does so much damage. It's that you don't so have to damage. charge. It's that you don't have to charge, and if you do it, you can get more damage after it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The move itself, the move itself does a little bit more damage, but mm. ta using a little meter to tack on way more damage—that's the fucked up part. Got you it. Me? Got it. Uh, so it's pick. You know, pick your poison. You want to lose your mix up or do you want to lose your pressure? Both of them are incredible. Got it. Here's another install V skill for your boy Urian, looking like a porno director. Uh, he's got his fireball, right? Well, if you install this, his fireball becomes ridiculous. So let's take him off a block real quick. So that's three hits. If it's like big like that, it's three hits if you do it early. And if you do it far away so that the big, like the, it shrinks, it's two hits, but it's wow. still very good. Okay. So let's take a look at it up Closer, close. Closer, better. So it's plus three. Uh, he doesn't really have a three frame normal. 
So you're not going to get anything. When are you going to have time to do that at that range? Well, that's the thing. It's an install. So you could do it here and uh, then just be here and oh, let it rip. Oh, wow. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So we'll take a look at what they're all on the block. Point blank. Plus two. It's your turn. Wow. And then from far away, it's new. You know, it's from far away. It's like whatever you want because you can follow it in, right? Yep. Uh, but, you know, compared to his regular one, which is minus seven, you know, all of a sudden this becomes like a pressure tool. When you say his regular one. His, reg un, his like un V skilled projectile. Yeah, yeah, sure. Cool. Uh, so obviously like this lets him like uh, be a lot more powerful in the projectile game because his projectile is not bad, especially when you do the fast ones like that, right? Mm -hmm. His projectile is not bad at all. It's just that his recovery is pretty shitty on it. Mm -hmm. And this definitely helps him because of how tall it is. It's going to be a little bit harder to jump over them. You know what I mean? Uh, not to mention the fact that, yeah, if you do it a little bit closer now, it's all of a sudden it's a little bit of a pressure tool, which is kind of nice. Okay. Pretty simple. Uh, his V-Skill 1 was um, a little bit harder to use, a little bit harder to understand. First of all, it makes him darker, gives him a tan, which is very nice. Cool. But his next like special move, uh, it'll like put a one hit of armor on it. Oh, right. I like that. So this one's a little bit more defensive, right? Get a little bit of armor. I uh, like that. Versus uh, get like a better projectile. Right. Yeah. Honestly, the, sec the second one could be a little bit defensive too. You know, <sighs> you're gonna like sit there and try and zone with the giant ass fireballs, right? You could do that if you were so if you're that type of porno director, is whatever. Sure. Um, but I think that the first one is like kind of purely defensive, and the the second one can be a little bit offensive. I like it. Yeah. Those make sense to me. Ah. This might be like everybody's new favorite V skill. Never knew that was called Hunga Bee. Weird. What? Uh, his first V skill was apparently called Hunga Bee this whole time. Uh. Never knew that. <laughs> okay. Does Abigail frighten you? Uh, uh, no. Don't lie. Not as much as the what? other guys. Not as much Why? as some of the other guys. Uh, he's too sticky. He's ridiculous. He's sticky. He loves cars like a child, so I'm not really that. I'm so glad you said that. Watch this. Nice. And then he's like, yeah, he's pumping, he's air fisting, air pumping the, as the thing rolls. He's just, you know, that's not terrifying. I feel like I get how his brain works. I'm not going to be caught off guard by any decision he makes. Well, what do you think about the fact that he calls in the tire like a child or like a dog? Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not, not, I'm not issuing any additional comment. Fair enough. This dude, this, this V skill is pretty fucking hilarious and it's really good because you can interact with it. Oh, cool. Oh, I like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can like send it really fast to somebody like that. Uh-huh. Or you can like bounce it up and then hit it the opponent. Oh, uh, I dig know? that. Or, you know, if somebody's worried about it, you can like follow behind it and then, nope, I command wow, grab it. Wow, look at that. You know what I mean? That's great. The opponent can hit it back, but it like won't hit you, but they'll like, they can hit it to like stop it. Uh-huh. You can even do like, you know, you know, <laughs> like silly shit. Wow. It's got a lot of Dribble. utility. Dribble it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's got a lot of utility. It's got a lot of utility. Uh, and it like really changes, honestly changes the way he plays neutral, right? Yeah. Uh, his uh, first V skill is a little bit more narrow. It's a parry, right? Okay. But it's a parry that he can get virtually any move out of. So like people have been killed by this man. He's got a low one too. Uh, so it's a parry that like is pretty easy to use. And like if it here, let me see if I can do it. Oh man, I don't know if I can do it. You can cancel it into the shit and like that that can kill a person. I've seen it many, many times. <laughs> um so I think one is a little bit more defensive and read based, and the other is more like setup based, right? Like you can play neutral with your broing the, the fucking tire. And the other one kind of just depends on your opponent. One is more reactive, one is more active. Got it. You know? Yep. Uh I like that tire. Everyone loves that tire. That's like everybody's favorite new V skill. Yeah. Understandably. He treats the tire like a fucking dog. <laughs> Remember this guy? Remember this color? Wow. You got a cool new tool. You know? A real talk. Do you remember, like that color is like from our childhood? Is it? Yeah, don't you remember this? All? Oh, vaguely. Like if you press, oh if yeah, you're player orange, two, the orange skin, like sure, the blue and yellowish, sure, sure. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocking the X Men colors. Yep. I think it's his championship edition color. Oh, okay. Check this out. 
right? So if you're close enough, that's a knockdown, right? Uh huh. Want to see what it does on block? Minus four. So if you space it right, you're probably fine, right? Uh -huh. Pretty underwhelming. However, you charge it all the way. Wow. Which takes a while. You get that. that. And that shit right there. Let's see. Oh, no. Wow. Come on. You can do something. You can that. follow it up or. I just, you know, I don't play block. You just so. time it, but boom. What do you think? What do you think you can do after? If I'm point blank. There nice. you go. So yeah, yeah, you get your up balls. Cool. It takes a long time to charge though, right? Yeah. But look at the distance. Very good. Is that full? There's no way that's full screen. Looks like it. It's it's like three quarters. Yeah. Probably right here. That's cool. a long ways away, right? Yeah. So it like gives him an option, but here's the real reason why this is fucked up. Dash cancelable, just like geefs. Oh, cool. So once you're charged up. See how like he flash yellow? Uh, now it's just ready to go. Oh, uh, cool. So now I can just be playing if in you get hit, I want. you lose it. Boom. Nice. It's ready to rock. Nice. Make sense? Yeah. A lot of utility for like long range play from Blanca. It takes a little bit of an investment though. That's the trade off. It's an investment V skill. If you make that investment, all of a sudden you're kind of a threat from further away than Blanca usually is. Yep. Compared to his first V skill, which is like actually a lot of utility now that I think about it. Uh, the Coward Crouch. Which does it low profile certain shit, but it also makes him go into that leap. Defense. And that leap can go into uh, fucking anything, which is actually kind of nice. Right? Okay. Cool. Um. So this isn't like combo stuff, but it is like another avenue for him to get in, right? Yep. So one is like it's also uh it's like a it, it can be a pressure tool because as you can see, you can like combo out uh, into V skill one. Yep. But uh, it's mostly like just like a way to get in uh, with like a low angle hop so you can start applying some pressure. So yeah, <clears throat> V-Skill 1 is a bit of a pressure tool. Uh, V-Skill 2, however, that's like a long range countermeasure, if you will, right? Yep. Somebody's zoning you out because you saw when that thing was fully charged, they get juggled high. So even if you don't make the juggle and get the damage, you're in. By yeah. the time it takes him to right. hit right. the ground, you're already in there. Right. Oh yeah, you remember your boy? I sure do. This is another install. His first, the, both of his are installs now that I think about it. Both of his V skills power up one of his moves. Okay. Which two moves do you think are, are powered up? He doesn't have that many moves. Tiger so projectile and tiger knee. You're close. The first one is his tiger uppercut. Uh-huh. And uh, the second one is his tiger knee. Uh-huh, cool. And they both have very different applications. So, see that there? Uh huh. We'll take a look at his tiger knee. That causes a knockdown, right? Uh, honestly, but like, let's see. If we do the powered up one, it also causes a knockdown. So, that's 80 damage, right? 80 okay. damage for that light one. And versus. Oh, it's still 80 damage. But let's look at. The block. Minus six up close. Minus two. Cool. Completely safe. Nice. Matter of fact, if you, let's say, if you space this just right, that's minus two. That was the regular one minus two spaced correctly, right? Wow. If we space the charge one correctly, oh, plus two. Wow. So it turns uh, it turns the tiger knee to into a much better pressure tool. Sure. Tell me? Sure. Let's look at the heavy one. So that's minus one from full distance, right? Plus five. So all of a sudden, Sagat <laughs> can get in pretty quickly, and it's his turn. Cool. Right? And he's always had that tiger knee. It's just that when you space it correctly previously, the best reward you get is like, good job. Now you're not going to get hit. Now the reward is good job. It is full on your turn as opposed to V skill one, which turns his tiger uppercuts into like more damage. Right. Okay, cool. Pretty simple shit. Yeah. And honestly, I used V skill one and I was perfectly happy with when I was playing Sega for a while. Like anytime anybody jumps at you, you knock off, like cleave a big chunk of their health. It feels good. But you can't ignore the utility of being able to all of a sudden change the math on your opponent while playing Sagat mm. uh, and just be completely plus. Mm. It's harder. It's harder to use. V skill two is definitely harder to use because you have to you have to judge those distances, right? Yes. If you judge the di you have to judge this is right to get the reward. V skill two is like anti air is an anti air. You're going to be fine. Yeah. So two is a little bit harder to use, but it does give you, the, give you that offense. 
And again, if you're playing Sagat, maybe you don't want that offense. Maybe you do want to just do hardcore zoning. It's possible. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of whatever flavor you like. Cool. Yeah. Daily training. Hey, it's Lucia. Remember her? Yep. Very cool character. She got this. It's a hop. We know about hops, right? Yep. While he's on block, we can observe this is minus four, uh, which is technically not safe. But if you space it right, like, yeah, right around there, you'll probably be okay, right? Is it an overhead? No, it's not an overhead. Jeez. Yeah, they don't want to give people that because it's a little bit too powerful. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Knockdown on hit, though. You see that? Mm. Just kind of nice. You could probably get some good Oki after that, right? Great. So it's a nice hop over some stuff. Things get really interesting, though. You go into the V-Trigger. Ooh, wrong V-Trigger. It's just like Kage. It's very similar to Kage in that you have to be in V-Trigger 1 for you to see the effects, the powered-up effects. So you see how it's fiery and shit? I think yep. the only difference here, let me restart. That did 100 damage, and this does, what, 80? 90. So the V-Trigger 1, it does a little bit more damage, right? But... Yeah. Restart. If you do her run move... Uh, because if you do her run move and do v out of it, she does the knee. Oh, cool. And that's plus two on hit, which is very nice. I don't know if you can combo into it. I haven't tried it yet. I should hope so. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, which is kind of nice. Nice. Let's see. If that's plus two, that means on plus four uh, on counter hit, you can actually combo out of that, which is nice. Cool. But we, of course, we have to see what this is like on block. Minus two. That's the beauty. That's the biggest difference, in my opinion, between these two V skills. I don't know if you remember, but her first V skill, which is like the rapid kick, kind of looks like Jun Lee. Uh huh. Very unsafe on block. Well, I don't want to say unsafe, but it is unsafe. It's not very unsafe. This is full on safe. Cool. Right? So you can, like, kind of do that and throw that out and be fine with it. Uh, matter of fact, I want to see what it's like on counter here. My bad. I want to test this. Mm -hmm. There it is. See that? Nice. You see how I comboed after? Very yeah. nice. Cool. So that's a good a little, little bit of utility on that. You get some combo after that. But then if you're in the V skill, or sorry, V trigger, oh boy, <clears throat> that's a good amount of damage. And that's just automatic. Sweet. So you can just turn that into a knockdown as of what you couldn't do with v skill one speaking I of which, i love that you like that yeah let's go back and look at v skill one remember this does a lot of damage too <clears throat> so this one was like it's nice in that it keeps them standing i guess what i'm saying is that like sometimes you want to knock somebody down sometimes you don't because this like leaves her standing leaves them standing but then you get to like go for that mix-up right yeah uh <clears throat> And then there's that, like that version of the move out of the run, which is very, very unsafe, as opposed to the very, very safe knee of V-Trigger 2. Or yeah. sorry, V-Skill 2. Yes. But I guess the... Yeah, there's that. So cool. that's the trade-off, though. While this is unsafe... Oh, no. In the corner, I believe you can get real juice off of that. Let me see. Cool. Maybe not. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh... But the point is, like, while this is unsafe, but has longer range, the other one is safer, but it knocks them down, and you're probably like, that's it. You know what I mean? I think you can combo out of this. Yeah. So effectively, what you're trading between these two V-Skills, like, both of these V-Skills are like, there's the V-Skill move, and then there's the one out of run, and they're two very different moves. Mm. So we'll compare the two. When you just press the V-Skill, this one's unsafe, but it has better range. Uh, and it leaves them standing. V skill two, uh, I think yeah, it also leaves them standing, but it's completely safe, right? Yep. And then there's uh, the ones that are out of the uh, the run. Yep. Uh, this one has better corner carry, and I swear you can combo after that. It's been a while though. Uh, and the V skill two version, as we saw before, like like kind of goes into the. Uh, Fuck it, I'll show you real quick. Because it looks cool. You said it looked cool. I agree with you. So Greg is just sitting here nodding like, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right? So that's the V skill. And then, of course, yeah, that's nice stuff, right? Cool. That's a full-on knockdown, which they get. Yeah. It's, yeah. They're, how do I put this? 
they're a little bit similar. But I'd say the biggest difference between them is first off the fact that this is hop, this hops, and the other one is a little bit better for like poking. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, and the fact that this one is safe and the other one's not. I'd say that's the biggest difference. That's a big difference. Any questions? No. Yeah. All right. I think, guys, I think we did it. I that's think we covered whole, every character. Oh my gosh. I think All we, V skill twos in four episodes. Yeah. That's what you get here at Weekend Warriors, led by Brett. Weekend Warriors? It's a new type of cereal. Oh my God. I just saw the box in my mind. Yep. Oh my God, the day. Someone please draw that box. <laughs> Worry dash O's? Warios. Like wa Weekend Warios. Yeah. Or yeah. Weekend at Warios. I would Different, watch the hell out of that movie. movie. Like Wario Either one. You could do so the box Mario art for that VHS. <laughs> Mario or and Luigi like have to pretend that Wario's still alive and they put the sunglasses on him and shit. Right. I'd watch the shit out of that. And they're impersonating him because everyone knows his like, voice. Hi, Wario. Yeah. Oh, man. I wouldn't even begin to try to like to do an impression of, of Mario. Mario doing an impression Wario. of Wario. Yeah. No, I'm not going to try to do that. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching all this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was somewhat helpful. Uh, uh, let us know. Next time, we're going to play more Street Fighter, but. You're going to tell him? We're gonna, gonna, oh, yeah, yeah. We're covering wow. this guy. Not Load the fucking model, game. There it is. We're going to play this guy. Next Look time. at him. Look at those nipples. <laughs> you can't not. You can't avoid them. We're starting Gil next time, you guys. Full on character analysis and all that. Hopefully you guys are there for it. Uh, thanks for watching Weekend Warriors. <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs> My pharaoh minions. My, my, my pheromones are strong. <laughs>